going on, guys? It is time to take a look back at our 2017 season, and I'm extremely excited to put these episodes together and get this season underway because we had a great year in the woods. Uh, we had seven kills total, a um, few deer, a bunch of hogs. So let's get this thing started. We're going to do the first episode. It's going to be a hunt back in Virginia, back in November. Um, headed up to the mountains to catch up with Dad to do a little hunting on a piece of property he was looking at buying. So the day before this hunt actually takes place, Dad and I went out early that afternoon, and we were hunting it, but really, we were scouting. Um, we got in there early, kind of walked the bottoms, got a lay of the land, because we were going in blind. We had no trail cameras. We had not set foot on the property prior to. Um, so we were really just kind of see what the land was doing, what the terrain was saying, if there was any sign, and kind of go from there. So after scouting around a little bit, I found one area in particular that really caught my attention and made me dig a little bit deeper into it. This one particular spot was in a creek bottom, surrounded on three sides by ridges, and from those ridges there was three or four trails, pretty well-defined trails, that came down through the bottom, and at one point they all converged into one singular trail. Um, and trail is, doesn't do it justice. I mean, it was about a three-foot wide trail beat down to just mud and deer tracks. Um, you know, that coupled with a few nice rubs in the area, um, you know, I'm not one to overthink things. And when you see sound like that, you know the deer are coming through there. So it, you know, you put a tree stand up and you see what happens. And that's basically what we did. Uh, the afternoon was a bust, didn't see anything. Got up the next morning, temperatures had dropped a significant amount, about 15 to 20 degrees. It was 20 degrees that morning. We got up early, headed to the tree, and things got interesting pretty quickly. Check it out. What's going on guys? It is day three of my Virginia trip. And it is freezing this morning. I think it was 20 degrees when we left the cabin. So it's a little chilly, just a little bit. Um, we were set up actually, we hunted here last night and it is your textbook definition of a pinch point. Um, we've got ridges all around us. Each ridge gently tapers down into this little bottom here that feeds down along a creek bed. If the deer are either coming back to these mountains to bed down they're coming down from the mountains they have to walk through this area just the terrain pushes them right through here just the way it's set up this is actually the first time we're hunting it so no clue what's on here haven't had any cameras out so we're coming in blind just sitting back and uh seeing what happens so it's a good little spot i'm pretty excited to see what what goes down this morning so stay tuned and let's see if we can put one of these virginia bucks on the ground Excuse me. 
excuse me while I geek out for just a second. I've got to give a huge shout out to Rat Getter Scents right now. I took their uh, synthetic doe estrus and I sprayed down the bottom of my boots real good. That buck walked right down the trail that I walked in this morning, nose up in the air looking for that doe. I flipped the can over one time. He sort of walking to me. I got worried that he was gonna walk straight underneath me. I wasn't gonna get a shot, but he turned and started heading up that mountain right here. And uh, I knew if he went too much further, I wasn't gonna get a shot. So I picked a hole that is just big enough to really get an arrow through there and just hammered him. I'm waiting for dad to climb down and uh, we're gonna go put our hands on him. So stoked. So in all the madness and craziness and me losing my mind after killing that buck, I kind of forgot to switch the camera back to autofocus, so that is going to explain the blurry recovery you're about to see. Sorry, guys. He's bigger than I thought. <laughs> Spin him around. What a moose. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Um, I'm pretty sure this is gonna go down as my biggest buck to date. He's still got tree bark in his antlers for making rubs and he just carries mass all the way around. I mean, he is just everything you could ever want in a deer. Um, what a great morning <laughs> on the way in. I uh, sprayed the bottom of my boots down with rat gutter scents. They're hot to trot. Uh, synthetic estrus. Hung a couple scent wicks up with it and it was just after first light. I could hear some stuff crunching around and um, just kind of looked down towards where we walked in at and I could see a deer standing there but I couldn't see anything else and I wasn't sure how big he was. Um, I kind of caught some glimpses of his rack and knew he was big enough to at least get my bow in my hand. Um, and he threw his head back a couple times with the nose in the air smelling him. He was downwind of me. I guess he, he smelled the doe but couldn't see her and started working his way up the mountain ridge and he stopped at 20 yards. You know, looking at it now, I don't know how I got that arrow through there. There's so many twigs and stuff in there. Big shout out to Steady Form for giving me a tool that takes my action to the next level. Man, I'm just gonna sit here and soak this in for a little bit with Dad. So this hunt is definitely gonna go down as a very special one for me, not only because of the score of the buck, which really ranks low on the list of things, but because that that was the first big buck I've killed where I've had my dad with me to go and make the recovery and, and share that excitement and the cheering and the high-fiving together. So that was really cool. Um, we were only in the stand for 30 minutes. I text my dad at 645. Good luck. I'm all settled in. Shoot straight and all that stuff you, you send to your hunting buddies uh, when you're hunting together. And I called him at 715. Hey, Dad, I just shot the biggest buck of my life. Um, it was just an awesome hunt. Not so much for him because his hunt got cut short. Sorry, Dad. Look, guys, I'd love to be able to sit here and tell you that I killed that buck because I had patterned him for the last, you know, X number of years. I knew he was in there, and I knew he was using this travel route, and look, I, I didn't. I got lucky. I, I simply was set up in the right spot at the right time. I didn't overthink the setup. I looked at the sign that was there and knew that deer had to be coming through there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it as always. Don't forget, thumbs up the video, subscribe. Share it with your friends, all that good stuff. Doing that helps the channel grow, which helps me to keep doing these videos. So, I appreciate it. Until next time, Venomous Tickle. Also, if you like the shirt and want to get one of your own, I will put up the information here for the guys at Archery Life. Check out their website and them on Instagram. Their inventory is stocked full of awesome bow hunting gear, archery gear. If you're into that kind of thing, check them out. They got some good stuff for you.